In a significant diplomatic development, the Embassy of Afghanistan in New Delhi announced the cessation of its operations, effective from 23rd November 2023. This move follows an earlier suspension on 30th September, initially intended as a temporary measure in hopes of a favourable policy shift from the Indian government. However, the embassy's expectations remained unmet, leading to the decision to cease operations permanently. The embassy clarified that this decision is not a result of internal conflicts or shifts in allegiance among diplomats to the Taliban. Instead, it is attributed to broader changes in policy and interests. Over the past two years, there has been a significant decline in the Afghan community in India. The numbers of Afghan refugees, students and traders have halved since August 2021, coupled with a marked decrease in the issuance of new visas. Despite challenges, including efforts to tarnish its image and hinder diplomatic work, the embassy assured the Afghan community of its commitment to transparency and fairness. The Indian Ministry of External Affairs earlier in October refuted claims of not supporting the Afghan embassy. My understanding is, our understanding is that the embassy in New Delhi uh, is uh, functioning or continuing to function. We are in touch with the Afghan diplomats who are there in that embassy as well as with the Afghan diplomats who are at the consulates in uh, Mumbai and Hyderabad. Uh, however, we received a communication last week uh, purportedly from the embassy uh, indicating that it intends to suspend operations uh, at the end of September, I think it was. Um, so, of course, such a decision is an internal matter of a foreign mission. However, we have noted that uh, the Afghan consulates uh, general in Mumbai and in Hyderabad uh, voiced their objection to that decision or to such a decision. Uh, we are also aware of a prolonged, uh, that there has been a prolonged absence of uh, the ambassador and that a large number of Afghan uh, diplomats have uh, left India in the recent past. Uh, you asked about um, what would be the difficulties uh, with the students. We would hope that a substantial or the substantial number of Afghan nationals in India, including students, are able to continue to receive necessary uh, consular support. On our part, we will continue with our efforts uh, to assist the people of Afghanistan. It should be noted that India has not recognized the Taliban government, which took control of Afghanistan in August 2021, and has evacuated its own diplomatic staff from Kabul. The Afghan embassy in New Delhi had been operating with staff appointed by the former Afghan government under President Ashraf Ghani with India's permission. India's position on recognizing the Taliban government aligns with the United Nations stance. Despite the lack of diplomatic recognition, India has provided humanitarian assistance to Afghanistan, including food, medical supplies, COVID-19 vaccines and winter clothing. In June of the previous year, India also sent a team of officials to its embassy in Kabul.